Welcome back to Trending. Here to talk about sex and relationships is sexologist Dr. Limor Blackman. Hi, Limor. How you doing? Hi, my dear. Very <laughs> good. Cracking jokes before we're coming <laughs> on air. We shouldn't do that. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about something really interesting today that um, I feel like a lot of people can relate to. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, the topic of being happily married and gaining weight over yeah. it. <laughs> so, you know, we, we just discussed, you know, just before we went on the air, <laughs> how true it is that people, is. when uh, they're blissful and happy, they just eat. Yeah, you know? they eat. And they just, you know, hibernate and they just have fun with their partner. Yeah. And there are many aspects to it, but they actually went and examined it. They took close to 200 couples. Uh, approximately six months into their nuptials mm -hmm. and follow them four years afterwards. Mm -hmm. What they found was not so surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Being happy and, sa and, and satisfied in your relationship makes you gain weight. Mm -hmm. But why is it? Why is it that you really, you know, gain gain weight yeah. do you have did, did you ever contemplate on it yeah i mean uh well i have two theories mm -hmm. i think um it's not necessarily fair right after the, the wedding because i feel the women for sure tend to diet ex extreme diet before yes. a wedding so yes. obviously when you extreme diet you, you finish the wedding you go back up. You start binging. Um, but yeah, I, I think you do feel more comfortable uh, in a happy relationship, whether it's a marriage or not a marriage. Absolutely. Uh, so when you feel happy and you feel safe and you feel secure, yeah. you feel like you can be yourself. And Absolutely. That is very true. It's a part of that. Very true. <laughs> and they assume that the researchers actually assume that people that are less satisfied in their relationships actually kind of pave their path into finding a you know a, someone to replace their partner oh. and that is a part of actually feeling you know that i need to watch my way because this is not the end stop and things like that maybe even subconsciously we do this if we're not satisfied in our relationship versus if we are very satisfied you know we're kind of comfortable and that brings us to the next point that they assume that actually when we're happy we're meeting our partners to eat a lot together mm -hmm. and eating together makes you eat more that's mm -hmm. also very um, very based on on uh, studies if you eat and un, un, not paying attention to what you're consuming very much like if you're watching TV yeah while you're eating you're eating more you eat more so yeah. that's definitely uh, you know a result well of then it. I have a solution just stop eating together <laughs> I know you just <laughs> Stay away from one another. Honey, a year and a half an hour. Let me know. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's very true. Another uh, assumption was uh, came from Helen Fisher, the very renowned anthropologist. She said that the brain chemistry changes while we're, you know, a approaching a relationship or mm -hmm. in the beginning of a relationship versus after we're very safe in a relationship because right. in the beginning really our body releases dopamine mm -hmm. that gives us energy and gets us excited and everything and later on it's it re it's replaced by oxytocin which is the cuddle hormone so we yeah. want to just cuddle we want to be close we don't want to spend time doing anything else and we want to have soft people to cuddle with I know yeah <laughs> you know that have some flesh it's much more interesting exactly. <laughs> and also partners compare themselves to one another Another. Mm. So I want to say that if uh, one partner actually gained weight, it makes us feel at liberty to actually gain weight with them. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. It's and like how men gain weight, gain when weight while their wives are pregnant. pregnant. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, it's very true. So what to do? Look, uh, I want to just start and say to uh, please avoid anything that is dictated to us by society. If you love yourself and if you love the way you look and if you're comfortable with your weight, there's no number that you need to be. Just drop these magazines. Just yeah. throw them off the window. Yeah. It's, it's not no good for anything. But the thing is really if you stress over it, there's an actual physical release of cortisol, the stress hormone, and that hinders our weight loss. Hmm. So just know that if you stress, you're creating just the opposite. Right. The second thing that I want to recommend is really to plan ahead because if you plan your meals ahead, you can plan them healthier, you can plan them at a certain time that you want. And another thing that women tend to do is now that we're married, we're in a relationship that is solid and, you know, mm -hmm. very uh, comfortable, we tend to wait for our partner to eat. And women have a problem, very complex BMI, so they need to snack more. Yes to keep themselves satisfied and not to binge while they're eating, while they're eating together a meal. This is so, so really, interesting. Yeah, so just make sure that you snack little things. And again, depends what you snack, but just snack on healthy stuff. Just a stuff. piece of cake, it won't <laughs> yeah. hurt. Come on. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I'm, I'm all for cake. <laughs> Another thing is really to schedule a joint workout. Yeah. Do it together, That's do good. it together. It, it, it really makes you work better. 
it, you know, you kind of compare, again, the comparison, you kind of, you know, compare yourself to your partner, you can work on it together, you can spend time together and exercise. But if it doesn't work, try to do what young mothers do when their babies are newborn. Try to exercise when he does something else, you know, like when a baby sleeps, you sleep. Uh -huh, so right. try to find that time that he's away, he's doing something, maybe he's exercising at the gym and you're not going to the gym and doing it in the house, yeah. but do it around the same time that you have that branch, that, that window yeah. that you can find for yourself. I like the working out together because I find that's yeah. when you really talk as well. Yeah. I feel like we were just talking about how smartphones affect relationships right. and things like that. And working yeah. out, you're really focusing together on one task and, right. and it's a nice uh, t way to spend time together Absolutely. even just going on a walk yeah going on a walk doing some yoga together these things can be really can impact your weight yeah. loss and just your communication yeah and I want to say to reassure one another no insults you're mm -hmm. talking to your partner you make sure that they understand that they you love them regardless and of course you know I want to just tell you something that of course you know nobody looks like the magazines the women in the magazines don't yeah. look like that they don't look like that they're all so, airbrushed it's all a lie yeah well, just you know be happy with yeah, yourself absolutely be more you advice. were giving you gave us heaps of advice today thank, thank you, you so much really good stuff and <laughs> you're you. gonna love this next one yes. being a sexologist <laughs> okay Ready for this. Don't you love a good play on words? Adult website Pornhub is slaying it. They're doing their best to, by helping out Boston residents affected by massive snowstorm Stella that has hit the East Coast. The company promised to assist anyone who wants to get plowed after the National <laughs> Weather Service issued a weather warning for the region. Just genius, huh? And free I'm advertising. Willing to 